All right, so yeah, um, playing around with some hot air and soldering iron um, assembly of a custom PCB board. So this was a board I put together in Eagle and had manufactured at PCB Way. And playing around with uh, solder paste, and you can see the chip just kind of moves into place um, as the solder reflows. Um, sometimes you get solder blobs, and that's pretty easy to take care of with a um, technique. You just basically take the iron and pull the blob away. Um, the other way to deal with solder blobs is to do basically what you do with drag soldering. Um, take your iron and basically run it along the pins. And you know, I've got a big iron here. This is a T4C, so I mean, the, the tip of the iron is the same size as, you know, all six pins on the chip. But nonetheless, you just sort of drag it along and it cleans up those solder blobs really nicely. Um, definitely want to use a lot of flux here. Um, and you know, a nice clean iron and um, uh, just run it along and that takes out the blobs right away. So TQFNs, um, which have you know the pads underneath, can be tricky to work with. They work really nicely with hot air and um, taking out the imperfections is not a big deal. Um, did a little hand soldering also, so here's an 0805 capacitor, and um, the key here is a lot of flux, right? So make sure your board is clean, wipe it off with alcohol first in case there's any oxidation. Um, I've got a iron at 360 Celsius, um, this is still a T4C tip I'm using, um, and just kind of a general uh, rosin based flux put that flux in and then uh, place the component on the pad. Now the flux will tend to hold the component in place, um, but I actually like holding it down with tweezers so that I can you know, press against it just a little bit. I want to actually make contact with the metal parts of the, the device itself to help heat it up and get the solder flowing. And then I'm just, you know, I put a little bit of solder on the iron, I come in with the flat part, and you can see when it, uh, when it flows, it just kind of like jumps out towards the uh, the 0805 package, and it's it's a really satisfying feeling once you um, once you kind of get the hang of this. So I spent a few days uh, pulling chips off of an old boards, um, old boards that I had, and then just practicing uh, different ways of soldering them. And this is where I've gotten to right now, and it's it's working pretty well. Um, making good solid connections, uh, pretty fast solder time. Now you want to clean your board really well. I'm just brushing this off a little bit just to get a side view without, um, without a lot of uh, excess flux getting in the way of the view. But you'll go back over this eventually with like a toothbrush and, and give it a good thorough cleaning, um, wipe off all that flux. And then I also tried a, um, an 0603 resistor. So, so these are the resistors I'm using for the board and um, exactly the same technique. These actually feel a little easier to me. Um, the 0805s took me a while to get the hang of. These seem to go pretty quickly. Um, they're not, you know, ridiculously tiny, but they're pretty small. Um, they're not like, you know, an 0201 or something, but um, basically the same drill. Uh, make sure your board, you know, was, was deoxidized to begin with. You just do that once. Put on lots of flux, right? Flux will wash away pretty easily with um, with isopropyl, um, and it'll help keep things in place. So you know, position your chip. Now you don't have to be super careful with the positioning of it. As long as it's making good contact, it'll be fine. But you know, I kind of wanted to to get it pretty close to um, parallel to the edges of the board, and then um, I'm just going to hold it down with. Uh, pair of tweezers in my left hand. I've already dabbed a little bit of solder on the flat part of the iron that I'm holding in my right and basically just um, just touch it to the pad and to the part and you get this nice little bead of solder that forms. Um, and so I built up you know a few boards like this and they work great. Um, they they actually do what they're supposed to do which is which is always kind of amazing to me um, at this stage of things but um, but it's pretty fun. I mean, if you want kind of a meditative uh, engineering project, I think doing uh, surface mount devices like this um, fits the bill for me at least. So anyway, that's, um, that's a bit of what I've been doing lately. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.